about Meta and welcome to our new tutorial. Uh, first I show you what we're gonna create today. We're doing a little smoky bubble text animation. That is nothing uh, which is really new to the internet but uh, two things they are very cool in this case. You don't need for that uh, uh, for that tutorial any plugins. You don't need trap code particular. You don't need uh, optical flares. All you need comes uh, within After Effects and the um, smoky bubble comes uh, also as pre-keyed footage in our project folder which you can download on tutorialpilot.net in the download section just click on smoky texture or smoky text and then you can download everything also uh, comes a second or a third uh, smoky bubble um, pre-keyed with that uh, tutorial so you can uh, be creative on your own uh, and uh, yeah that's it and oh yeah please uh, don't forget to uh, follow us on YouTube and like us on Facebook would be fine we will be very very happy if you do that and so you can uh, make sure that you keep in touch with our newest tutorials uh, upcoming tutorials and uh, all new things about um, the visual uh, video post-production so let's drop in and get that thing started first make a new composition Make it uh, 1280 by 720 or what you like. And in our case, the duration of uh, 11 seconds, it's fine. So first we need our text layer. Just gra grab that text icon and type in tutorial pilot. And then we scale it up by holding shift button. You scale it proportionally and so we place that in the middle of the screen. The next thing is we take this texture and drop it above our text layer, like so. And we scale that a little bit down, like so. And we change the mode from uh, normal to stencil luma. That makes the effect that you have a little texture on your uh, on your text which makes look uh, which looks a little bit grungy and so I, I like that so you can do that you can you can leave it uh, it's up to you I like it this way and uh, the next thing is we hold both uh, layers selected holding shift and select both layers and go to layer and pre-compose and call that main text layer move all attributes to the new comp and say okay so next is duplicate the main text layer by edit duplicate or using shortcut string d and hide the layer below and then we bring in our smoky puffy uh, uh, footage just dragging it hold it down and as you see it's a wonderful pre-keyed footage but it's not this white, we like it. So go to your effects panel and type in levels. Apply levels to that and just crank this arrow icon up to the left. So we get a smooth, wide, uh, uh, puffy uh, bubble. That's okay. The next thing is we have to animate the text fade in and we will have that by using a linear wipe just apply that to your text layer and change the wipe angle from plus 90 to negative 90 and as you see if you change the value on the transition completion you can animate that from left to right so we have to animate manually this text to fade in uh, according to the bubble uh, goes uh, from left to right on screen. So I will start here with that smoky puffy things go from left to right and I will bring that to zero and hit the stopwatch and then the first movement is a little bit slow to that and we animate that from here to here 
then we go a little bit further there's a small movement we'll make it to the T and it's stuck in a bit so we move it from here just a little bit from T to starting of the O there comes a large movement to here so we move it from here to say to the P and then here a little bit slowly to the I and a bit of the L and this is the final blowout from here we crank it up to the rest so this is what we have right now looks cool so far not perfect but cool okay so next next thing is we hide these two layers and uh, unhide this layer and we go to layer new adjustment layer and bring that just on top of the last layer hit return and call that this place and we go to our effects panel and call that turbulence this place and just apply with the um, adjustment layer selected just apl apply that to your this place adjustment layer um, we will have a size of 9 and an amount of I think I like something about 90 or or so yeah that's cool next thing is we apply a blur a fast blur to that and the blurriness something about 8 or so must be fine or 10 I will have 8 it's okay the next is we will apply apply a mask to that layer now to the main text layer to the this layer apply a mask like so and then we want to animate the mask from left to right so we will unhide this uh, text layer so we can see when the animation of the text wipe starts like so it means the animation of the uh, of this mask will start a little bit earlier so this animation starts on uh, frame 70 in our case so we go back to frame 60 and start animation by hitting stopwatch go to mask and mask path hit the stopwatch and go to the end of tutorial pilot and with the arrow key and double click on the mask you can move this from left to right so and then we can tweak this here it's everything is okay it's okay now we go a little bit backwards so this is okay for me zoom a little bit in the U is also okay and then we go uh, it's also okay also okay and here we go a little bit just unhide also this layer so you can see what happens so here we're running out of uh, out of range so here we stop it a little bit so we go here up to here we move this backwards holding shift button then you just move it left or right and then here we move it a little bit forward a little bit faster double click the mask and move it forward and also here double click in and just bring it forward to here this is okay uh, here we stop a little bit so we bring that mask double click back to here and the final blowout this mask goes to here so this is what we have so far looks cool but we have to tweak this sharp edges on 
uh, on our text layer so go to your main text layer and uh, apply a feather so that we have a smooth movement between that and last but not least go to your mask layer to this one and also uh, make a mask feather like so now you got a real smoky cool texture coming out of this bubble cool uh, we tweak that here I think we delete this keyframe and go from here to here it's okay so next is we apply apply another adjustment layer go to layer new adjustment layer bring that under the uh, puffy bubble uh, footage and uh, just hit return and call that light so then go to frame or one second frame 25 or 30 or whatever you like to on the beginning of your uh, composition and then go to CC light and you see you find the CC light ray and apply that to your selected light layer just double click on that and you have here the center point and this is a effect like trap coat shine or something like that and if you go to the first time your text appears like here because it's uh, affecting the text layer and you can uh, increase the intensity and just walk a little bit around or go bit more further here as you see it got some real cool shiny effects so you don't need any trap code you can uh, uh, change the radius of your glow uh, of your shine you can uh, uh, play with the sharpness of that I leave the default levels of course I, I'm fine with them and I go back to the first I will sh first shy the um, puffy footage so I go to the first layer where my text appears like so here and hit uh, the center stopwatch and then I go to here and just follow that to here and go further to here and may the last final blow we will just go out there like so so this is what we did here we go cool shiny maybe we tweak that here a little bit go a little, ba a little bit backwards so and there a little bit more forward yeah, and the final boom cool um, you can play with the settings you can increase or decrease the intensity um, just like you think it's fine to you and when we've finished with that just select all layers and go to layer pre-compose and call that main sorry main bubble say okay move all attributes to the new comp next thing is go to your project uh, um, folder and uh, we drag this uh, background layer here and we go to our effects panel say uh, curves and we bring the curves down like so it's a bit, little bit darker and look much more grungy yeah I'm fine with that a little bit lighter so so looks cool the next is we go to tint to tint here yeah, and we tint the white channel to some kind of greenish well, like so okay yeah looks cool 
next is I go to the main bubble layer and also tint that layer. Also again the white channel to a greenish color like so. It's okay and the next thing is go to the effect panels and hit blur. Eh, uh, sorry, not blur. Glow. Scrub a bit down and apply a glow to your uh, bubble layer and just play with the settings. Maybe increase a little bit the glow radius. Maybe change a little bit the greenish color to something more natural like so. Hit OK. And finally, if you uh, want to animate the background, of course it's a very static uh, uh, story right now. Um, if you want to animate the background like it's an underwater scene or whatever, uh, select your background and go to this placement uh, map. Apply that. Uh, make sure uh, this placement map layer is your texture layer. Um, vertical displacement something about 90 and uh, horizontal displacement something about minus 30 or 20. It, it's not this... Uh, it, don't, it don't have to be this uh, uh, correct. So um, Go to the first frame of your comp and hit the stopwatch on the horizontal displacement and then go to the last frame and crank that up to 600 or something like, though, like so. Here we go. And this is the effect that your background, as you see here, uh, swallows away to the right side. So it looks cool. It's a little movement in it. You see? Here we go. Yeah, so that's it. And of course, if you like to change anything on the text, just double click on the main bubble, go to the main text layer and just type in whatever you like to. Something like join us on Facebook, go to your main comp and it will it will work perfectly. Hope you enjoy that, hope you have fun, hope you have your own ideas to make some uh, smoky bubble text animations. Don't forget to join us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube. See you next time. My name is Oliver for tutorialpilot.net. Bye.